Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. And if you guys are new here, welcome. And if you guys haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button right there, right in the corner. And today I'm going to do another review and reaction of a legendary on HBO Max season two, episode six. And this is where it's the plastic fantastic. So um, that's the name of the title of the episode. And, you know, each and every week I pick a comment from a last review. And the comment that I chose was baby Tishi shows you week after week why they are the superior house I live for their house mother performing at the same level of the of her children and it, it's the beauty of Simone for me but Orichi performance said we are here to battle as well they carried also if there ever came a time to replace or add a permanent judge Taraji would be my vote that's all you know what Richard I definitely agree with you for sure so you guys your comment might be chosen in the next video so make sure juicy cute you know and your honest thoughts and opinions but um I'm excited about the season actually the season is let, let's be real the season is like mm, it's a lot of tea to be honest with you from behind this behind the scenes tea but I'm not going to dish all that tea. <laughs> it's too much. But um, yeah, the judging is whatever. But um, but yeah, you guys, I am going to do a interview with Jamil Icon, which is the house that left last week. So make sure you guys stay tuned in for that. Hit that notification bell so you know exactly when I upload. And um, yeah, enough of this jibber jabbering. Let's get straight into this reaction and review. No shade. They looked fucking phenomenal. Orichi's work. Balenci's. Um. No shade. Shannon did that. You know what? That ten points thing. They need to lower that down to five because that don't make no sense. Oh, I'm liking Law. That's cute. That was cute, Jamila. Same tea, different look. Okay, Megan. Okay, now Miss Laomi girl, she ain't up. She has not been playing with the girls this season. All right, Miss Amaya. Miss Laomi, no shade, girl. You have been giving me everything I needed this season. Them looks nasty. Okay. No elimination? Oh my god. I don't like that because them judges been scoring funny already. That's right. I really want this for them. And this just, it really means so much to me. You guys have no idea. Woo! That's right. Come on, Miss Gia. Ah, is he she dot? <laughs> Okay, you guys, so that is the end of my reaction and review of Legendary Season 2, Episode 6, Plastic Fantastic. <sighs> what can I say about this episode? So let's just break it on down. So they had to do, um, they had to do as a house doll looks and they had to have the main category is floor performance. So let's start off with the house of Orichi. They did. They did good. I felt like they started off cute with the visuals, but then they kind of just stayed at one tone and um, it was cool. It was all right. I mean, it, it, what they didn't do bad, but they didn't they didn't do as well as the other houses. Now we're going to go on to the House of Garcon. I felt like their look was absolutely amazing. A great theme. Great look. 
Um, they started off so strong. They they dwindled down in the middle and then they picked it up at the end. But um, unfortunately, they just didn't do as good as the other houses. Then we're going to go into the house of Mugler. Mugler was, I mean... It was really, really, really freaking cute. Um, they said they wanted to see personality and warmth. They definitely got it this episode because there was cuteness overload. Their looks were really cute. It was fun. It was colorful. It was really everything impacted. Their floor performance was on point too. So bravo to them. Then we're gonna go. Then we're gonna go into the house of Balenciaga. I felt like it's it's a Barbies in a Barbie world, you know, like Balenci dolls. That was the cute. That was that's such a cute idea. Now I now this is where I kind of feel like I feel like if you're going to be a top house or a top contender, I feel like every member should really, really put in the same type of effort as the other members. And it's no shade to Shannon because Shannon is doing the best that she can do, right? Like, and that's really high. But it's just like. We're competing for $10,000 at this point. And if the other houses and their mothers or fathers are bringing the same effort as their children, everyone should be doing the same thing. And I think Shannon is just relying on her beauty and her, you know, her feminism and, you know, just being feminine and cute and, you know, dainty and girl, we need more than that. Let's be honest. You know, like it's the same thing over and over and over again. And I need something different from her. I need for her to, you know, step out of that comfort zone. And we've seen her do a duck walk, but I need her to like put in the same type of effort and choreo with, you know, you've seen her in the back doing a little choreography, but it wasn't the same as being actually there. I don't know. It was cute, but it wasn't like wow to me. I think the Mugleras definitely did better than the Balenciagas to me. Let me know what you guys think. Now we're going to move on to the house of Tishi. <sighs> I honestly don't even know where to begin with this because the house of Tishi... The house of T she. Ooh, baby, y'all turned the party and the radio and everything to me. Y'all looks the way y'all came out from the middle to the end. Y'all turned the party and the you made them girls know for sure. Hands down, my favorite. And it's not even to be biased because that's one of my favorite houses. That's one of my top two houses that's going to make it to the end. But it's just, girl, there's really no denying this situation. Like, come on, this is ridiculous. Like, they murdered that whole category. Now we're going to move on to the individual categories. They had to do a, um, they had to do runway, which to me, I felt like, again, the judges are watching a different, now, I'm going to say this, being there, because before everyone starts reading the judges, because that's what everyone's been doing this season, um, bef maybe just maybe it's not the judges. It's the way they are editing the footage because what the judges are seeing are is probably different in person compared to the final edit of what it's looking like. So I'm just going to blame that because what the, what we're seeing is a complete different situation. Like, I don't understand what they were seeing in that runway category. Like, don't get me wrong. I don't think that. Um, no, no, you're right. I don't know what they were thinking. <laughs> like, I don't think Balenciaga deserved to win that at all. Like, no, hands down. I don't think so. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't like. I, I don't know. Garcon and Tishi definitely knocked it out of the ballpark for me. Um, and then we're going to get then we're going to get into. um the, th the third category, which was the duck walks. Now, let me tell you something. Duck walking is one of the hardest, the hardest elements to do. And Simone definitely cleared it for everybody. She started from the, she started from the top all the way down to the bottom and processed everyone. It's a process of elimination. And you're already tired after the one battle. You don't have no breaks. You literally have to keep going. Bravo to Simone. You definitely deserve that. For sure. The house of Orishi loved the way you guys came out. And um, even no shade, even the house of Garcon, girl, you turned the party with that. No shade. You look sickening. But um, but yeah, um, bravo to Simone. You looked phenomenal doing it. 
And um, top two, I agreed with the top two. Mm, I don't know because I would have put Mugler and Tishi at the top and for sure Tishi winning. Hands down, Superior House. Bottom two, I agreed with the bottom two. The House of Ricci and the House of Garcon um, had no problems there. Let me know what you guys' thoughts and opinions are. I want to know everything or what you think about the judges, the categories, the Superior House, the top, bottom two, the top two, everything. And your comment might be chosen in the next review. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the thumbs up if you guys have been loving my content because a thumbs up really does go a long way. And it shows YouTube that, you know, it was going to pu start pumping up my content to people that haven't seen it yet. So yes, please make sure you do that. Hit that subscribe button right there, right in the corner if you guys haven't already. And hit that notification bell so you know exactly when I upload. And like always, you guys, life is your vision and it is whatever you make it as long as you make it freaking fabulous until the next one you guys bye